In the 21st century, motorized transportation has replaced traditional boats in Venice. And rowing has lost its popularity amongst the younger generation. These native Venetians are concerned the art of rowing is dying out. But they're doing more than just complaining about it. Hey, hey, barca. No. This is an oar for a very big boat, and I am reducing it to make an oar for another kind of boat, so that it becomes more flexible when you row. Volunteers at local nonprofit Arzana have started a collection of old boats and nautical artifacts abandoned around the city. And here you find the hundreds and hundreds of tools and items coming from boatyards or uh, workshops that closed down. Fishmen and hunters who used to uh, go in these small boats in the lagoon in order in the winter in order to hunt the ducks. This huge uh, lock collection, I think it's the only one uh, existing so complete in the world. They're all different, they're all handmade, and they are all proportioned and built specifically for a certain kind of vessels. But it's not just the boats they're preserving. It's a unique Venetian way of life. Venetian rowing, mainly, it's uh, uh, rowing on a boat with a flat bottom, looking forward and standing. Which is the difference between Venetian way of rowing and, uh, let's say, North uh, European uh, sitting and uh, rowing backwards? I have always to look forward and see if there's other boats coming. When you have a canal, a turning point, you should shout and say, Oi! Because you don't see who's coming eventually the other way. I think it's really the, the best and only way to, to live well in your city, to appreciate it. <laughs> 